But I did want to get to this historical moment. I buy this fucking eight mile DVD with the bonus features. Bonus features. With the bonus features. And at this time, it's like, okay, Hov been doing this thing, you know, big, rest in peace, big, rest in peace, Pac. Um, Nelly, Eminem emerges. And the first time hearing them on Future Flavors, I was like, who the fuck is that? I'm the last man standing. I hop in the Trans Am, hop out of the Trans Am and land in the hands. I was like, yo, who is this thing? This is just some lyrical, amazing shit. Yeah. And then, you know, years go by. This Eight Mile movie comes out. Everybody's so excited. I'm in the middle of shooting the movie at the same time. Rap War 1. Rap War 1. <laughs> Rap War 1. And I'm looking at this movie like, yeah, let me see if I could, I could pick some things up. And I go to the bonus features, and I see like they had the, like, the fake battle set up, and they, they let certain people say something. I seen Marv get up there. Marv was like, oh, nah, I'm going to cook this motherfucker. Yeah, they were there. <laughs> I'm going to cook this motherfucker. That was Dangerous Marv. Yeah. There was a time, man. That was when Marv, I'm telling you, this yeah, nigga was the time. dangerous, most dangerous nigga walking around. Yeah, if you stood time. in front of Marv, nigga, yeah. you knew what time it was. What, what was that? Like, like, take me through the process of how that even went down, bro. Um, honestly, I had got kicked off the, I almost got kicked off the set the day before. Mm-hmm. Because me and my mans was like we like we was joking too much. Shouts to my bro Fat Father. We was joking too much, so they kicked us off. Like we were all extras. Like everybody that was an extra in that movie was a rapper in the city of Detroit. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying. So like some I'll, people that say like oh, people yeah. that say that M don't do shit or hasn't done everybody shit for the rapper. city outside of the philanthropy that he don't that ain't you know put out there promoted like that. and all that. Like yeah. I know for a fact that as a teenager, I got paid a lot of money per hour yeah. to do absolutely nothing but stand around and meet some of the greatest yeah. rappers in the world. It was, it was it was like it was the inmates had fucking took over the asylum. Yeah. So at that point like we were like rowdy, you know what I'm saying? Like we we felt we had our run of the lot blah 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 like niggas weren't in their spots and fucking up continuity and everything. So what the director decided what the director decided was um, he was going to do a contest. You know what I'm saying? Say that for me. Yeah. He was going to do a contest to basically keep niggas' morale up. Yeah. So it was like, yo, we're going to pick three people to, to, cool. to come up here and be in, in pantomime scenes. Like, he's not going to rap. Like, it's going to be B-roll. Right. Like, you're not going to have no... But you, gonna, but, but you could rap to him. Yeah, but you weren't supposed to. I, you honestly weren't supposed to. So, you know, I wasn't going to do it. Uh-huh. I was like, I was, I was kind of like, I was feeling myself. Like, nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm bigger than this. Right. This is what I thought. And I remember I called my manager. My manager's name was Hex Murder at the time. Hex Murder. My nigga yeah. Hex. 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 Murder. Murder. Hex. Hex Murder. Hex Murder. I love you, Murder. Hex. Yeah. Hey. Real shit, my nigga. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. You know who Hex know everybody, my nigga. Yeah. Hex that nigga. I, I know, I feel like I met Hex in New York. You probably did. You probably did. Hex, did. Hex what up? Hex was my manager. Yeah. I, I remember I called him like, yo, they trying to do this shit down here. Well, yada, 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 I ain't going to do it. And he has this real high poise, this high pitched voice when he get mad. He's like, nigga, you better fucking do that shit. So I went and did it. Right. And I was one of the niggas who made it to the finals. So they bring, so they bring him in. And they like, all right, just spit a verse. I went third, maybe third or fourth. I, th- I mean, third. I went third. No, no, because no, the order on the, the thing order on was the DVD different. Was different on, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they you like, went second. Did I go second? Because Soup is the only one. Soup, and, Soup is the only one he did not rap. Yeah, Diffusion. Yeah. Diffusion went first. Diffusion went that first. That was first. No, he didn't rap because he rapped at Diffusion. Soup went first. You he didn't rap with oh, Soup. Oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. right. You right. went second. Right. Right. cut the mic on because he was right. in the yeah, 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 like, 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 mic on. Nah, fuck yeah, that. No, but it's yeah, yeah, some sucker shit. I'm going to tell you why it's some sucker shit. It's some sucker shit. Because what it was, I literally had spit. That was one of, that was around that era where you had verses in a clip. Yeah. You did. So it was like, yo, you in a battle? All right. It wasn't It wasn't about who was the best. It was like, all right, who's going to stop? Who's going to stop? Right. So that was one of my verses. You know, spit the verse. It was. It got more of a reaction than he wanted. Right. 
And what people don't know is that <laughs> what people don't know is that he was rapping when that beat came on. Like he was rapping, but the mic was off. Because remember, they cut the mic off. Right. It was like, yo, like, no, he not rapping. Yep. His voice was messed up. Yeah, his voice, yeah, his the voice whole, was the whole up. shit, he was drinking honey the whole time, like doing those last few scenes, just because his voice was out. That's how I, I had never saw nobody like I had never learned that's how I learned to drink honey if you losing your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like he was just straight honey. That's so, it made Marvin like, instant legend. So the yeah. so the beat drops. Right. So the beat drop and he's rapping, but nobody hears it. And I'm and I'm, I'm trying not to break character, but I'm like, God damn. Man, for real? Like, what and f- look, I never forget he's flipping his mic and he says, Oh, I got something for your fat ass Marvin. He did <laughs> like, I got something for your fat ass Marvin. And he raps. And I turn and I'm like, yo, you can't let me have this? Like, you can't let me have this moment? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. He raps. I beat him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he raps. He raps. Yo, I M, you heard him. it here. No, no, no. That's my Bro, man. Bro, we'll confirm. That's my, no, that's my man. That's he my got baby. you out of there. No, nah, never. Nah, Nobody that was, could yeah, ever. Nah, that was, nah, that was dope. Nobody could ever. Because nah, his bro. shit was off the head. Nah, but, bro. I, yeah, okay. It was off the head. Like he, started, he battled out there. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, but but what I'll say is that like that shit, it literally changed my life. Like, not even on a notoriety, like not even on a on on a, on a money standpoint. Mm-hmm. But the fact that when that DVD dropped, they used that scene to sell the DVD. DVD, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's like, why I bought it. Like up, like up until that yeah, point. That's like, why I got it. That's why I got it. Up until that point, you Both know what I'm saying? Like my yeah. mom, like my mom thought I was fucking like wasting my time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Honestly, like I've been all these places, but it, it didn't resonate right. until she's looking at fucking Entertainment Tonight and they're playing the scene. And the 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 anchor, her name was Mary Hart at the time, and she's like, "Well, good luck with your career, Marv One." Right, right, right. And I was like, "That's huge!" You know yeah. what I'm saying? As a kid that's from great. fucking, yeah. Yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? From the hood, like that's like that's huge. Like right. like I was burying friends. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like right. so to be recognized for that and for them to make the decision. To 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 use me in that instance, it like I'm forever indebted. I'm like nobody can say anything bad about that man to me yeah. or the company. You know what I'm saying? And that's like my actual man. You know what I'm saying? I remember I went to a party at his crib. And, and uh, slight flex. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Party yeah, yeah. Crib. Here's yeah. the thing. And he did the whole lot. Just crib. Crib. Hollywood. You know, I went, I went to a party, to a party at his crib. crib. That was a great set. Oh, I Mark. could do a lot of flexing, bro. If I was that nigga, I could do a lot of flexing. Yeah, flex. Nah. Yeah, well, just, just dust flex. your shoulders off real quick. I went to a party. I got one better for you. So I went to a party at his crib. You know what I'm saying? What it was and, like. Uh, it yeah, was, what was the crib? Was it big? Was it big? It was a mansion. It had walls. It had walls. A mansion. You know what I'm saying? A floor. It had a floor. It had a floor. Oh, shit. It had a floor. It had a floor. Okay. It had a floor. Oh, shit. It had a floor. Okay. Okay. Uh, that walk, Eminem guy with the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I, walk in, <laughs> I walk in. I walk in and he shake everybody's hand. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So I stick my hand out. He don't shake my hand. I'm like, fuck is this about? Yeah. And he like, no, nah, I want a rematch. <laughs> I said, yo, you winning in life, man. You won. Like, I got a ride here. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I've had a haircut in months. <laughs> yo, yo, but a lot of, a lot but, of people but even don't. Just, you know, saying that is an honor, right? It's like, oh, mm-hmm. shit. But no, but 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 here go the thing. Like the thing is, is that regardless of success, like like if you're from that cloth, it don't matter. I remember, I remember him. Ju- I remember him being at a battle up in St. Andrews, like up in like up in the in the Burns room when niggas was battling yeah, on the third yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember everybody knew he was up there. They walked him in, whoop whoop whoop. So I go up there. So I'm sitting with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? We chilling whoop whoop whoop. He gets mad. I'm like, he like, yo, he's like, fucking Eminem is up here. Ain't nobody gonna call me out. And I said, was you gonna go down there and battle? Who gonna battle you? In the <laughs> I said, was you gonna go down there and battle? He said, if somebody would have called me out, I'd have went down there and battled. I said, you're a fucking weirdo. Nigga, you sold a hundred million records. You know his birthday was like And you gonna let a nigga who's down here battling for a hundred dollars get this look? You know a lot but of you, But if, you, if you're from it, you're from it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, a lot like of, the like the fucking level. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I apologize. You but the level of competition, like yes. that, never that never leaves you. That but, but, never leaves. But not you. just that. Those those situations are like what kind of like fuels the, the the legendary status, the the legend, like the person that that he he battles at that point. They're gonna tell that story forever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. Yeah. When you think about it. 
Depends like on how they, they do. Like, because battle- there's a lot of people running around Detroit right now that battle them and them. No, for real, seriously. Like, yeah. like there are many, <laughs> there, are, there are but many that's people. Incredible. That's no, fucking incredible. Depending you know on how you did. Like, it was, I, I battled some chicken for the Dwayne Reed the other day. Everybody was so fucking happy. Success. I was like, yeah. Not, like, now, it. It, now it's different because, because you, you can catch. Like, you, you never you lose, you never lose being a like, rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but. You be like, Eminem kicked my ass when I was, like, I rapped for 30 seconds. I choked. He kicked my ass. When he battled them, it was before he blew up. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He, he had a lot of battles. He's yeah. a battle rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like one of y'all blowing up. Right. You know what's like, crazy about Eight Mile? though? like I was in high school, right? And I remember they. It was a house around the corner. The house that they set on fire. Oh, on the pillar. Was around the corner from from my parents' house. My my parent at that time, right? House, right? And I remember I'm in high school and I used to be like, and at this time I had met Bizarre. I met Bizarre when I was 17. But I'm like, yo, so I'm like, okay. They shoot an Eminem movie around the corner. They burn the house up around the corner. I'm like, it'd be crazy as hell. They just wanted me to come on this bitch and battle. I'm in high school. Like, yeah. <laughs> Honest to God, right hand to God, bro. A knock at the door. It was the director. He told my parent at the time, like, yo, we looking for this scene. We gonna, we gonna give you $500 to let us shoot this scene in your backyard. So you know when they walking and they be like, they talking about the house and he like, yeah, you gonna go if she there and it's Brittany mm-hmm. Murphy, my man and the yeah, girl. Yeah, that yeah. was my backyard. Oh, wow. that's crazy. That's yeah, my backyard. Wow. wow. That's super crazy. You know, crazy. like a lot of people don't, when, when we talk about 8 Mile, 8 Mile is what showed corporate America that battle rap was viable to make money. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I got, I got into battle rap being on the set of 8 Mile because the guy that was managing me, he managed the guy to play Lickety Split in the movie. Right. So I was just an extra or whatever. This Turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard. Told Jim I need a bomb, I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now I'm rockin' you niggas. 